clothing sponsor today's video today being Keeps. That's right, Keeps helping men keep their hair. So what you may not realize is that two out of three men may experience some form of male pattern balding in their lifetime. And the key is about being preventative, proactive. You gotta keep your hair that you have. You gotta keep it. So you don't even have to have in-person doctor's visits. You don't have to go to the pharmacy because nobody wants to go there right now. They're gonna ship you your medications directly. And even if previously you've tried these two FDA approved products, you've never gotten them at this price. That is right, these are high quality generic options. Because let's face it, hair loss is something a lot of us men are just having to deal with every single day. So hair loss is something you shouldn't be ashamed of, but it should be addressed. That's right, guys. So head to keeps.com forward slash Joel Hansen. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash Joel Hansen. And that is to say 50% off your first order. That's right, guys. So go check out keeps.com forward slash Joel Hansen, guys. You gotta keep your hair that you have. You gotta keep it, keeps. So everybody, now I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at an Indian buffet. Yes, that is right. So by very, very, very popular demand, an Indian buffet. So I've done Indian buffets before, but I swear this is probably one of the most requested buffets for me to do. So I figured it was time to revisit it. So here we are at an Indian Affair, yes, that is the name of this place, in Langley, BC, which is essentially in Vancouver, BC. So Vancouver, British Columbia area. So here guys, take on a delicious, all you can eat buffet. So the way this buffet was currently set up with the situation was, it was kind of like counter service. So every time you wanted to plate, you just went on up and they would ultimately give you what you wanted. I will say uh, the staff were really good about giving me as much as I wanted. Um, you know, whether it be like, hey, I want two plates, or I would take more of the butter chicken, or more of the whatever, whatever. They were very, very good about giving us what we wanted, and they definitely helped make the experience go really well, because there was times where we had to wait a couple minutes for uh, the counter service itself, like the cafeteria style service. So even though that might have been a little slower at some times, um, the staff were excellent and they were definitely good with an all you can eat. So I had a green salad there. Um, they had a um, very nice level of uh, kind of pickled um, salads, I'll call them. So they had like a Greek cucumber salad. They had some different radish salads, etc. I always love my greens. So I had a little bit of variety of a salad plate there. Scott had quite some on my other plate, which you saw me kind of dig into, I had some butter chicken. I also had the tandoori chicken. I had some, um, it's, I forget the, the term, it's like Pierre, it's, it's like a pea dish. Then I also had some chickpeas. Um, and I had, a, a, and I believe that was actually the, it for this one. Maybe some egg, oh no, and some eggplant. Had some eggplant as well. So first flavors um, and everything was very, very good. Um, really was enjoying it. Nothing was like spicy um, in where it's like a heat level. But of course, like when you're talking these Indian foods, these uh, lots of lots of spices, like curry spices. So not a lot of heat spice per se, but definitely a good bit of, uh, you know, lots of flavor. Not even just a good bit, but lots Lots and lots and lots of flavor. Scott had, um, I forget what they're called, they're like little baked thingy things, like bread, I don't know, like doughy bread things with things in them, um, which he showed the camera earlier. He also had some uh, tandoori chicken as well. He also had some of their rice, and he had this item called curry fish, um, which I will definitely get to and talk about shortly, um, because I'm also gonna get some myself. They gave us the warm naan bread, uh, which was really, really nice. And yes, I understand that traditionally, more traditionally, you use the naan bread as I just did to soak up the sauces and eat different foods. And I know a lot of people generally put rice underneath all the chickens, butter chickens and curries, etc. But I just like to eat how I like to eat, essentially. <laughs> Curry fish, turnip, chickpea. So I just kind of explained the warm or the kind of hot items I got, and then here we had another uh, lovely chickpea salad, a Greek salad, and then one which had a lot of kind of pickled like radishes and onions and whatever else in it. Um, so yeah, digging into our second, I guess, well, it'll be fourth plates, but you know, third, fourth plate, but second round, I'll call it. Um, so again, here I got the curry fish. Um, I go, go scrub my salads. I was really enjoying the uh, cucumber, the kind of Greek salad. Um, 
I've noticed in my videos I really do like cucumber salads. I like all kinds of salads, but it's definitely a common trend of that recently. Um, and then the uh, the radish salad was pretty good, and I like the little uh, chickpea dip they had as well. It was all, it reminded me of like very like cilantro, maybe like coriander. Um, very very fresh tasting. I'll put it that cold chickpea salad, but a very fresh tasting one. Um, talking now about the uh, warm items. So that curry fish, guys, is the first time I've ever had what they call a curry fish. First time I've ever actually, I think, seen curry fish at an Indian restaurant, especially at an Indian buffet. And it was absolutely delectable. Um, the uh, flavor on it was, I wouldn't call it like traditional curry. In fact, if somebody would have taste tested it to me blind, I wouldn't, I think, say curry. But it just had these lovely warm spices. The fish was fried. Um, it had a nice little bit of crisp and texture to it. Um, whereas the, uh, it actually had a bit of like a sweetness, a sweetness kind of a sauce. I'd almost, you know, it wasn't a barbecue sauce, but it was definitely glazed kind of in a bit of a sugary sauce. The uh, turnip dish they had there, um, absolutely loved it. Uh, great flavors. It's like a bit of a vegetable, which I like to kind of fill up with. It was definitely more of the curry, the garam masala. Um, just these beautiful warm spices and like I said guys not like spicy like heat level spicy like burning your mouth like you know that kind of like you know what I'm talking about but just I love the spices on Indian food because I love flavors I love such strong flavors and to be able to have a food which similarly um, you know sits well on my palate where every bite is just an explosion of flavor was so nice the butter chicken here was quite different than what I'm used to, um, I would say. It was, hmm, what's the best way to put this? So it, it just had a different flavor. It still kind of had that really nice uh, kind of creaminess and butteriness and the pieces of chicken in it were very, very good. Um, for, I recall it being totally boneless or at least mostly boneless. There might have been a few little you know, bones, but I think it was mostly boneless. Um, the I think probably what was in it was a lot of like kind of chicken thighs, maybe some breasts, uh, but really nice pieces of chicken in it. And I would say, like I'm trying to compared to a lot of the other butt chickens I've had before, uh, it, it was I'm trying I'm trying to really place the flavor because I don't want to say it wasn't as flavorful as some of the other ones because it was very flavorful. It just had its own unique flavored mix, um, which was very different than a lot of the other butter chickens I've had. Coming to our new plates, I got one of those little uh, paneer, maybe it's paneer or something, got one of those other baked things Scott had. Some more of those lovely chickpeas there, and some more butter chicken, some more curry fish, some more of the turnip, and like I said guys, everything was excellent. So I tried this thing, paneer thing, whatever Scott said, and it wasn't bad. It's like a flour-ish, dough-ish thing with uh, a little bit of a uh, vegetable in it, um, maybe a little bit of chicken. Then they had some different sauces which they had for you to dip in. I, I want to refer to it kind of as a salsa, but it's obviously, I don't think they would refer to it as a salsa, but the flavors were great. They had a green one, they had a red one, um, and again, the more flavored, the better. I also tried a little deep fried um, kind of spinach, uh, chickpea thingy thing, which I just ate there, um, and that was pretty good as well, just not, you know, I wouldn't say my, my favorite item so far, whereas my favorite items definitely were the ones I kept repeating, which was the curry fish, the turnip, the butter chicken, and those uh, chickpeas. I really love Indian uh, chickpea dishes. Also, again, it's, I forget the name. I totally forget the name, but a dish I really love, which is, um, it's actually a cheese dish. So it has peas in it, it has cheese, that is one of my favorite dishes um, at the other Indian buffet I've been to before, which I'll put a link in the uh, down below for you to click and watch my the last time I went to an Indian buffet. Um, but this had really been a long time since I was at an Indian buffet. In fact, I would go as far to say this is probably my first time in about a year and a half. Um, a year and a half, yeah, definitely a good a good year for sure. Um, so, like I said, it was a long overdue. Unfortunately, uh, in Canada right now, it's hard to find buffets that are open, or at least in Ontario, there is no buffets open in Ontario. Um, whereas on the West Coast, at least, they had their buffets open. Again, just in a cafeteria style, which was totally fine. I was just very thankful to get back into a buffet and really enjoy some Indian food. Again, really enjoyed this, guys. It was a, like a long time, a long overdue. And I really look forward to getting the opportunity to come back out, whether it be to BC, whether it be 
anywhere, Ontario, etc., um, and having another Indian buffet experience because I tell you what, I love buffets and they're definitely something I miss um, having during this whole, uh, well, you know, global situation per se. Um, but yeah. I don't know how I feel about you guys, but if you like Indian foods, I would appreciate you if you let me know your favorite down below. Generally, my favorite is always the butter chicken. No matter what Indian buffet I go to, I always seem to be turning to the butter chicken. I just love the flavors of it. Like I said, guys, it's that garam masala. It's that curry. I love the, uh, it's kind of milky creaminess of that of the sauce it's in. And uh, like I said, I know traditionally a lot of people do enjoy it over rice like basmati, or some of the other rices, like I said, they have uh, quite a flavor of uh, rices here. Scott keeps getting it. It's a very yellow rice. Um, they, everything tasted good. I just more prefer when I go to buffets, I eat the uh, kind of more meat items. I eat the uh, vegetable items and sometimes desserts. Scott's telling on who we are and about YouTube. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We had some uh, friends and subscribers come up or like identify us out in public, so they came up to say hello, so that was always really cool. I always appreciate when people come up and say hello. It's great meeting people, and uh, it's, I mean, hey, like I said, I'm, I'm out and about, y'all. Come say hi, whether I'm eating, grocery shopping, etc. It's super cool to meet everybody. It's always cool to put na uh, faces to names and vice versa. So definitely, you know, if I'm out and about, come give us a shout out, come say hello. Appreciate that. And then from that stemmed Scott telling the restaurant who we were, which I was like, this is either we really good or really bad. But no, it was totally fine. Um, like I said, these uh, the staff here were treating us excellent. They really were a big supporter of eat as much as you want, um, which was absolutely fantastic. So again, I had my favorites, guys. I had some uh, cooked vegetables this time. I held, um, and also the uh, vegetable salads that I've been enjoying so much. I had more of the curry fish. I had more of my turnip. I had more of my um, butter chicken. And I had more of that chickpea dish. I find the best way to navigate buffets is at the start, try a variety of different items. So just small portions of different items that you think you may like. Once you have identified an item that you do like or an item that you really like, then go back to it and keep repeating and repeating because you can always have more of a certain, you can always like expand, right? But find an item or a couple items that you like. So again, at the start, way me and Scott had, we had a couple variety plates. And then from there we identified three, four, five, sometimes only one item that you really like and go back and get that because then you're gonna really enjoy that item. You know that item tastes good. You're gonna get your money's worth, etc. Versus trying just like, let's say a little bit of 10 items not really you know only really liking one and then you wasted your you know your capacity your fullness your experience of trying all these you know like having too much of these 10 items right so small portions that you know so if you're gonna try 10 items good fine but keep it what you think you will like keep it what looks good keep it what is fresh keep it what's hot what keep it what other people are also eating right so the probably the more popular items are probably being um, restocked more the hotter the better at a buffet also often pretty good to go at a busier time for a buffet but like i said guys start small don't overload your plate at the start unless you know you like the item for sure because if you overload at the start you're going to fill up you're not going to get to fill up well, potentially not get to fill up on your favorite items. So, and I mean, hence, I would never encourage anybody to eat as much as we did, but we definitely got our money's worth. We definitely had our true enjoyment um, and we definitely got to eat and enjoy the items we liked because we did that method. So again, small tastes of everything at the first, identify what you like, and then go back again and again and again. Um, the overall cost of this buffet, it came to about $20. We were there um, at lunchtime. I don't recall if this place only offered a lunch buffet or if it was a lunch and dinner buffet, but I find again with a lot of Indian uh, restaurants, at least that I have frequented with buffets, they're often a lunch buffet. Um, again, this one after tax is about $20, so I believe it was about $16, $17, which was very reasonable in my opinion. It was uh, something I would pay again 
And while I have definitely had cheaper Indian lunch buffets, um, I've seen them about as cheap as about t 10, 11, 12 dollars. Um, the cheapest one I've ever been to was about 12 dollars, um, 12, 13, 14 dollars, something around that range. So again, this was it was still within the proximity. It was a little bit higher, but again, we again, like I said, that's totally fine. We enjo thoroughly enjoyed our experience. Um, like I said, I was really craving or really desiring an Indian buffet. And this was very much uh, satisfactory and uh, really fulfilling that need and desire. And plus, like I said, we definitely got our money's worth. And uh, yes, people ask if we tip. Yes, I tipped very well. And we always tip just based on the experience as you would with any other restaurant experience. Um, but like I said, the girls here treated us very, very well. Um, the waitresses. Um, definitely offering us lots of non bread quite frequently if we wanted it like fresh, hot, you know, non bread, uh, which we were eating. You don't see us eat it all the time, but we definitely have little bits and pieces of it. And again, every time we went up to the table, they just kind of, it kind of just became funny or like they would just laugh at it. They're basically like, you guys are up again or you want more food? Um, because I mean, at this point, we were, you know, many, many, many plates deep. And uh, I mean, like I said, guys, we just want to sit back, have a great meal, enjoy it. Uh, yes, I do enjoy to have a bigger portion meal sometimes. No, I don't always eat like this. In fact, the vast majority of the time I do not eat like this at all. Um, but of course, for on camera and on camera, you see me eat a little different than I normally do. So I had another one of these uh, little crispy things. Again, I don't remember what they're called, but again, it's basically kind of like a, I don't know, fried doughish thing with a little bit of uh, like vegetable and kind of meat in it. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm not quite sure what exactly I would compare it to, but I'd almost like a further fried Jamaican patty in a way. I don't know. It was it was it was pretty cool. It was again an, an item I normally wouldn't eat, but with Scott having them, I figured, hey, I'd give them a shot, and they were actually a lot better than I anticipated. Have more of that curry fish, guys. Like I said, definitely a really unique item. And if you ever come across curry fish at an Indian restaurant, I definitely recommend trying it. I've never heard of it before, but I liked it a lot. Um, and again, of course, like I said, I'm a butter chicken guy, so of course I'm having more of that delicious, delicious butter chicken. Doing a little bit of dancing there. So, what uh, at this point we we're kind of like both filling up. We're kind of like, yeah, we had we had a good bit of food. Um, really was enjoying it all, but we're gonna turn into a little bit of sweets. We're gonna explore some of the sweet items they had. Um, Scott got a few different dips there. He got a few uh, little rice items, and I was at that point where I'm like, you know what, man. I feel ya. I feel ya and I hear ya. And with that, uh, he got a, a rice pudding. That's what's in that little white dish. And uh, definitely I was going to try one of those as well. Um, kind of figuring it was about time for uh, time for a little bit of a uh, sweet change. Scott also had some oranges there. And, uh, you know, basically I figured I'd uh, take a, we're just having some conversation, take a little bit of a breather. So he gave him the, uh, the full uh, screen right here before I went up and got some more plates, um, which I'm going to do actually right now, speaking of which. So what I had here is I had a rice pudding, and I also had the, geez, I t I t uh, bon, uh, uh, Blonjobin or something. I forget the name, guys. Sorry, I'm butchering them. But they're like fried dough, like those little fried dough things almost remind me of a... Um, a glob jamun. I think that's it. Glob jamun. They almost remind me of like a donut hole, which is kind of soaking in a nice, really honey, sweet, sugary sauce. Um, I like them a lot. They're very, very delicious. Um, unfortunately, they actually did not have any more left. Like I only had a couple, and then Scott had the last couple, but they did have the rice pudding. So after the uh, the last glob jamun um, and the rice pudding, um, we figured it was time to essentially call it quits. We've been there for a little while, and we needed to get going with the day. So I went up, grabbed the last few uh, glob jam in there, had the uh, one more rice pudding just to kind of give an ode to all the delicious, rich, savory food we had. Got to have a little sweetness. But everybody, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And of course, till next time, guys, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.